Hi guys, I'm back again, and this time I am going to show you how this buddy block works. Um, a babe block. This one's the babe from Paper Smooches, and it has the scalloped ones. The buddy is just straight. It doesn't have the pretty scallops, but it's the same purpose. And like I said in my last video, basically if you have an image and you want to have a mirror image of it, that's how the bay block works. It works to make the mirror image of your current image. Um, so you can have the two turtles facing each other. So I'm starting off with the turtle. Okay. And I'm using the Memento Black, <clears throat> Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm just going to stamp out the original image onto the piece of paper so you can see that. Okay. And then I put the bay block onto an acrylic block, and I'm going to stamp that image, another stamp, onto the actual block. And when you press it kind of slid a little, so it's kind of squishy and it slides, but it goes over there. And I'm going to stamp it right next to it, so you can see. And basically, that's how it looks. So it comes out, you know, a little faded. Um, so you definitely need to retrace it with your Versa, um, not Versa, your Memento marker and retrace it to make it as dark as that one. Okay, or, but I was thinking what if I just stamped it on a regular acrylic block? Okay, what would it look like? Um, so basically, let me do the image again. I'm going to stamp it on here. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp it on the acrylic. And it is kind of slippery, you know, these kind of blocks. So it's on the block, and then I'm just going to try to stamp it on my paper. Let's see how that turns out. Okay. And uh, definitely not as good a quality if you tried it on just a plain acrylic block. I guess it doesn't absorb as much as the the bay block which is sticky it's like a stamp basically it's just like a blank stamp okay um, so that was that one and then this was just a plain acrylic block that I used okay nothing special and you definitely don't get all the details like you did with the bait block. And so either way, to reverse an image, you definitely have to put some work into it because now you have to re-outline everything to make it look as dark as that. Okay? But I guess, you know, rather than tracing it, I mean, you could try to trace it on tracing paper or something and then try to do the reverse. But... I think, you know, I how much was it? I think it was like was it under five bucks, I think. Maybe three fifty or five. I'm really not sure of the price, but just to get like a reverse image. Because if you use just a regular block, it really doesn't come out and you'd have to freehand a lot of it. Okay? Well I hope that helps. Um if any of you out any of any one else has a bay block or a dude block or um, let me know what you think of it. That's, I thought it came out pretty good. Just like I said, you still have to put extra work just to make um, the mirror image anyway. Okay? Um, I can outline it for you. Let me, let me do another one.
and show you how it would work if um, if uh, I colored it in. So that was a little darker actually. Okay. But let me let me use my marker and try to color it in. Or outline it. Color it in. Steady hand. Yeah, this actually came out better the second time. But, um, I hear my son coming. Okay, one minute in. Mommy's almost done. Okay. Tips a little off. But there, that's how it looks if I outlined it. For the, this is the outline. This is the original stamp. This is using the acrylic block. This is use regular stamp, regular stamp, and that's the bait block. So it actually came out darker the second time, but this is actually outlined. So hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Thanks. Bye.